Hello, it's book one for June 2020, the angry book, <clears throat> so powerful, <clears throat> so helpful in this time when anger is flaring. Let's continue to read through it. No sleep and sleep sleep. No sleep and sleep sleep are two poisonous depressed bedfellows. Twisting slush can lead to enormous relentless anxiety, relentlessness and anxiety. A convulsive onslaught of multitudinous thoughts, all impossible conditions for sleeping. Insomnia is very commonly concomitant with depression. It is very difficult to sleep when one is seething with perverted anger. The victim is often completely unaware of the anger but complains desperately of agitation that prevents sleep. Some depressed people sleep a great deal of the time. Sleep sleep is largely an attempt to escape the pain of their self-flagellation. I have known chronically depressed patients unaware that they were attempting to escape life, a heavy-hearted depressed kind of life as it were, who literally slept two-thirds of the time. Such, such sleep serves as a self-impulse general anesthesia. When people suffering from insomnia or oversleeping are finally put in touch with their anger, the beneficial results can be very dramatic and gratifying to behold. It sometimes takes considerable time for them to know that they are angry, to accept their anger and to express it and live it <clears throat> through with feelings. But when they do, the relief that follows is dramatic indeed. I remember a woman I saw in treatment who spent at least 10 years sleeping about two hours a night. This in, in itself had a terribly debilitating and depressing effect. She said that the worst part of her not sleeping was the terrible thoughts popped into her head as she lay in bed. For a long time, she refused to describe these thoughts and could not even entertain the idea that feelings associated with these thoughts were keeping her awake. After we had established a close and trusting relationship and she was certain that I would not judge her harshly, she revealed the thoughts of her sleepless nights. They involved visual fantasies of terrible things happening to her mother and sister. As treatment progressed, she realized that she had a severe problem with anger and especially anger toward loved ones. <clears throat> After a while, she became aware of ancient stemming from, from earliest childhood angry feelings toward her mother and sister as she was able to feel accept and express with a good deal of emotion these feelings the thoughts vanished and the sleep ensued this was no simple matter for this to happen her attitude toward anger plus her unrealistic angelic image of herself had to be changed which required much self-examination in all areas and realistic self-acceptance we both worked hard and the results were very gratifying. Tomorrow and tomorrow, chronic anticipation, obsessive rumination, peculiar thoughts. Let's save that one for the next video. Um, the Angry Book, Theodore Isaac Rubin. Great, great book and very useful. Um, we have to deal with our families. And then we have to deal with our own communities. And then we have to deal with um, our society. And that's what's happening now. And I hope that it will continue to happen. Until next time, thank you for supporting me. Take care of your mind. Take care of your body. And please be safe.